We are heading on a camping trip. Hey, salud, amigos. Buen viaje. This is home for the next day or two, and then we're gonna move down a couple bays to a different spot. Got a little waterfall coming in over here. I mean, this place is just paradise. There's this type of shellfish that lives on the rocks. It's gonna be a little guaranteed protein for dinner tonight. Vidra just asked me if I wanted to try one raw. Oh yeah, fish on. The boys got on a Corvina bite. Fish for breakfast, I am mad. A little seafood shellfish stew it's looking like now. It's looking good. Delicious flavor, it kind of makes this like sauce that the rice soaks up. <laughs> There's a monkey right here in this tree, right above. Super fun start to the trip. Directo arriba. So now we're uh, <laughs> hiking to the next bay over, which basically every bay is a valley, which it means in between every two bays is a mountain, a ridge. And we just climbed straight up to get over it. And now we're heading down, but everything's so muddy because of all the rain that it's just precarious footing. I fell. I fell again. Oh god. Super slippery, you guys. Everyone's fallen at least once. I've fallen a couple times. This is slick, slick mud. I know the camera you can't tell, but this is steep. We are just like ice skating down this mountain essentially right now. <laughs> Covered in mud. Luckily, we're heading down to where a river meets the ocean, so we'll be able to wash off. Okay, here we got more roots. Oh, yeah. Still slippery. Made it. Huh. See? Check this out, though, guys. Worth it. adventure getting here but the spot is epic they call this la ventana which is the spanish word for window and i'll show you why so this is why they call it la ventana we can see it from the ocean when we go by here in the boats there's this giant hole in the rocks it's visible from offshore and when the rivers really pump with a lot of rain that river will actually come through this hole and that's what created it over the millennia Pretty sweet, it's kind of a landmark for me always when we're going past this coastline. To, I kind of know where we're at once I see La Ventana. But I've never been here on land, never fished it. We're gonna see if we can't catch some stuff off the beach here. I want to get the other side to fish. He said it's going to be like neck deep and there's some current. I'm going to try to get my rod over there without dunking it because this is uh, kind of brackish water essentially. Oh. Oh. And it's cold. Oh. <laughs> a little blowhole over here.
So that's where we were, but we couldn't get around this corner. So we went through the hole in the rock and it came around. Let's see if we can make it pay off. Oh, Miguel's got a fish on. Sick. Looks like something good. No way. Oh, yeah, what a Tengo. There's one. Oh, it's Corvina. <laughs> I gotta figure out how to get it up here. So that there is a Corvina. I think it's a yellow mouth Corvina or yellowfin Corvina. I forget, we get two species here. One gets huge, one gets bigger than this, but not too huge. It's basically a big Pacific speckled trout. It's even got the fang. A lot of times they got two of them. It looks just like a speckled trout without the speckles, but one species of these gets like 40 pounds, humongous. This is not that, but these are delicious to eat. And we will go ahead and make this one dinner or lunch. Maybe in a breakfast if we end up catching more of them. <laughs> this will be food here. Delicious. It's already put him out of his misery. I'm going to leave him here in some water. See if we can't get some more. Now guy has got a fish. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. <laughs> We're on him here. We can find a good spot here. These things are coming through. I think with the tide, it's coming in. It's a different spot than when I was hooking those bigger fish down there. Well, that's two Corvina back to back. I haven't even made a cast yet since I just landed that one. Yeah, he's got another one, Corvina. Yeah! yeah. 
Loco, si necesitas romper, yo tengo más. Sí. Oh, yeah. It's a good one. Vaya la verga. Ok, no, oro. no tengo nada por usted. <laughs> es el oro en polvo. Huh? Let's talk and smack, because this is bigger. It is a lot bigger. Wow, en serio, mucho más grande. Oh, Flaco. Oh! <laughs> Laco, el mejor pescador del grupo. <laughs> Look at that. Another one right there at the rocks. So we just got back from our hike from the Ventana, and I mean, if we had left 10, 15 minutes later, I mean, obviously it's pouring rain. It started raining on us on the way back, no problem, but. Check out the river now, and I say the river, this was the road a second ago. Look at this. That was all road just now when we came down. And now it's just flooding. You can see the road we just came down. I mean, with some current. It was muddy and slick. It was difficult to come down when it wasn't like that. If we had waited 10 more minutes, that would have been the most miserable hike of my life. Alright, now we're gonna fillet up this Corvina. We're not gonna fillet it up, we're gonna cut it into steaks. Basically just gut the fish, scale the fish, we'll eat the skin and all. We're gonna cut it into steaks, not very thick, and fry this thing up. Probably with salt and pepper and nothing else. Should be delicious. It's gonna be good, it's gonna be a treat. And this probably end up being breakfast, lunch, and dinner in the next 24 hours. Up here, we got some packaged refried beans. No wow. prep needed. Oh, look how appetizing it looks! <laughs> mm -mm -mm. Just like mommy used to make fish in a turd. Good. <laughs> Maracones, fried corvina, breakfast champions, nothing but salt and a little lime. So good. My favorite part, the tail. You can eat the fins. A little 
little salty, fishy, crispy lay potato chip. Mm -hmm. Thank God we have the ocean here because we'd be uh, eating rice and beans again. Between the shellfish and now Corvina, eating good. All right, so now we're going to hike up to Victor's Finca. I think it's about a mile and a half. At least at the start here, it's looking straight up. And then we're going to have to cross at least one river with uh, stomach deep water, so... Shoes are already wet. Always good hiking in soaking wet shoes. Alright, just went straight up. Got a sweet view of the bay and... From the coast down to the east. Now we're heading back down. I got a feeling we're gonna do that a couple times. I think I hear the river coming up too, but it's been pouring rain, everything's muddy, slick. You gotta be kind of methodical with your footing here. This would be a bad place to break a leg. Could have got the uh, doctor recommended Budweiser. Yes. Helps with the slippery rocks. Helps with the slippery rocks. <laughs> For sure. Oh, crossing through this like flooded meadow. Yeah. <laughs> These guys have already had a few beers this morning. This is hard enough to sober. I don't know how they're doing it. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> oh. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Horses up here. Wouldn't mind if one had a saddle. So this is the river. He said it's gonna be stomach deep, but that it didn't have any current. That's freaking flowing. This is it. Vamos, Blanco! Vamos, Blanco! Muy buena! These guys keep messing with each other, pushing each other in the river. Of course, we forgot the machete. This is getting a little, a little thick. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> I think this is river crossing number three. Doesn't really matter that we're getting wet because now it's raining again. Surrounded by children. <laughs> Look at this place. Why does this big Pedro's leg up and Pedro's So Victor says this is the start of his ranch, of his finca. And just gorgeous, breathtaking land right here. Beautiful little valley. <laughs> What's that? Rice. Is that something growing? Yeah. That is rice. A rose? Yeah. Uh -huh. The 
vago. Esa. What is it? He says it's kind of like an orange. So this is some unidentified fruit. We're asking him what's in season right now. And they said not much in the rainy season. Really the dry season is when stuff's in season. But he did point at this and said, Aponesa. De Japón. De Japón. Mm -hmm. This is some kind of Japanese something. He said it's kind of like an orange. It's juicy. Oh, yeah. Looks like an orange. It's like an orange, but a little more tart. But it's good. Really sour? It's pretty sour. Yeah. I mean, it's so juicy. Yeah. I'd probably be good for ceviche. It's not quite ripe yet, they're saying, so it's a little sour, a little tart, but it's good. Kind of like an orange. I know. Okay. Got paracones going down, twice fried plantains. We love these. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh yeah. So they fry them once and they smash them. And if you're out here in the jungle, they use a rock. And then they'll fry them again. We made it here to Victor's Ranch, and his wife made us some paracones and some chicken. Looks fantastic. We're out here in the middle of the jungle, which is hanging out. It's pouring rain now. Got us some lunch. Gallo, aquí, para ti. Por favor. Alright, we're gonna do a little, quick little hike up to a waterfall. Well, we thought the rain had stopped, but it just came right back. No way, dude. I got lot. Gaio just threw cow, cow poop onto Flacco's head. Oh my god. Mira lo ganado. They're scared, dude. They're scared. The horses are not liking this. Cabrón! <laughs> oh, 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 oh. No, amigos. Mal juego, amigos. No, hey, 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 hey. I'm not having any fun right now. Oh my god. They're literally throwing cow shit at each other, like, how is this a fun game? We're just trying to hike to the waterfall. Oh my god, they're, they're all literally covered in cow shit. No, hold up. I don't know about these Panamanians, y'all. I don't know about all this. <laughs> well, the river's a little muddy. The rain has been relentless. Still coming down. I don't even know if y'all can hear me. Camera's waterlogged. 
And apparently there's a pretty small but pretty cool waterfall coming up. It's like a flash flood. <laughs> yeah. Uh, he said five minutes yeah. and he did not mention the hole. It's not gonna hold. Look at the size of this tree. It's a little five minute walk up the raging rapids. We're on an adventure now, folks. <laughs> They just told me this plant here, if you if you get the the sap on you, it, it's very, very irritating to the skin. They told me that plant will cause like a horrible rash. And Pedro here just wiped it on me, trying to prove a point. I washed it off, so hopefully it doesn't get me. He's out here barefoot. I mean, look at this thing. That's half of one. Half of one. You gotta watch your step out here in the jungle. I'd never come out here barefoot. He's crazy. Local sin zapatos in la jungla. No yo. It's out of sun. No, 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 Yeah, I just said, I don't know why I have to explain this, but I would prefer it if you did not throw cow feces on me. And of course, one minute later, now I gotta take a bath. These are guavas, guayabas they call them. I didn't think they were ready this time of year. Oh. Guava. 
Oh, no, okay. Yeah. So then I gotta find a big one. I found a small one. I just ate one that big. Eh? Did you try it? Yeah, they're good, right? A small one? I don't know. That's the size you want, he said. Oh, see. That one is better. Mejor. Está muy bueno, sí. Está bien, bien. Mm, duro. Ah, sí. Ah, no, la guayaba es dura. La guayaba es dura. Hay que tener muela buena y para comer. No es mala, pero está muy duro. It's ¿Tú tough. Cre ¿Tú crees que era una manzana? Ajá. La guayaba blanca. Más duro que la de la Guayaba criolla. Muy dura. Pretty tough. Not that sweet. It tastes kind of like pine trees. The horse is like him. No, amigo, mal idea. Mal idea. <laughs> Guava, I'm on the fence on that one. Not my favorite fruit I've eaten here. So I was feeding it to the horse. <laughs> yeah. They're all like, yeah, it's good. When they're yellow, they're so good. When they're bigger, right. <laughs> but I mean, if you were out here and needed some food, I mean, it wasn't that bad. But you can usually just break right in. Right. You want me video? I didn't plan on filming the way back. This was a mistake. We were just down on that river and we just hiked up. I mean, talk about no trail. It doesn't even begin to describe this. We're grabbing onto roots and rocks and anything we can. And now we're up in these grasslands. So now we're climbing mountains and oh. <laughs> The Climbing mountains is probably a strong, strong word. We're kind of falling up mountains. That's how it feels right now. <sighs> well, look, we found a trail. We on an adventure now, y'all. Oh. Yeah, the river is flooding.
<laughs> There's a fish. Whew. Look at that. <laughs> Sick. Let's check that out. Pretty sweet little land base catch right there. Jack Raval on that diver. He hit it kind of in and amongst the rocks. He was trying to get around the rocks and, and get out of there. I managed to get him in. <laughs> sweet catch. This fishing from the rocks thing is not easy. I'm definitely missing my kayak. But that's pretty sweet right there. Now I do not think that's what I've lost these last few times because those fish are trying to get down into the rocks. This guy was not trying to do that, so I don't know, but pretty sweet. Phew. See you, buddy. Thanks. Oh, I still see him. <laughs> Finally got something in this spot. Drive me nuts losing these fish left and right. There we go. I think now we're on to something. <laughs> no! <laughs> Jeez! <laughs> oh my gosh. That was a doozy. That was a good in there. I'm wet now. <laughs> Rain jacket or not. <laughs> yep, yep. <laughs> Sweet. Right, check this guy out that's called a greater hawk fish beautiful fish look at the pattern on that tail just gorgeous and pretty small one to have hit this this big diver well it's not that big of a diver but compared to him it is did not expect to catch these now we learned on our last camping trip these guys are actually delicious really good to eat or at least when you're camping they're good to eat but everything's a little better when you're camping but really good to eat. They call them tigres, like tiger, I guess, because these patterns. Just a beautiful, beautiful fish. The biggest species in the, in the hawkfish family, but that's not a very big one. Beautiful, beautiful fish. We'll let him go. All right, time to get the you know what out of here. But first we gotta get the panga back in the water. We got little buoys down here. We got logs up here in front. Very, very sophisticated Panamanian boat moving system. Here we go. Oh, Listo. Okay. As they say in Spanish, poco a poco, little by little. I fell and hurt my knee. So it feels good, like basically doing sled pulls with this boat right now. We're almost there, getting to the water. Honestly, these little yellow buoys under there work surprisingly well. I think about all the fancy boat moving systems in the US. A couple old ratty buoys, really all you need. Yeah. 